In this video, I get scared as a museum comes to life. Divine intervention comes to my rescue. Try, try it. And Stu tries to Google Translate. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. That's Harry, our camper van, and that's me, Jane, and here's Stu. And we love to share with you our van life adventures. You know in van life when you sometimes find a place where time stands still and this spot in the Somme Valley hits that brief as the autumn sun lights up the landscape. That was a great park. It was a 10 out of 10 park for me. We were all on our own, which I'm surprised about because it's uh, such a lovely place. I think the fishermen may come down during the day and that, but it was a really nice stop. I, I work a couple of times during the night. I've been bitten on my foot by, I don't know what, a lion. <laughs> That's what it feels like. <laughs> uh, midges or gnats or mosquitoes or something. To, uh, it was raining last night and there was lightning as well. So I had to get up and shut the vents and switch the fan off because I didn't want the water coming in. But then it cleared, so I got up and opened the fence and chef because it was so blooming humid last night. Really easy parking. It's not been difficult to find a place. We had been told this, but yeah, you know, until you come and experience it yourself, you. I think we probably need to push ourselves to stay a bit more in the spots or in towns and all that. They've lost their dog, but he's just hiding. I don't know if other people have this problem, but we have this drawer. Well, you don't have a problem. I have a problem oh, with this straw. There's nothing wrong with it. I get really stressed trying to fit. They do fit in, they but. They do fit in easily. So that drawer, it, well, that cupboard is Stu's cupboard because it just. You've got no patience. No, you're right. I ended up. <laughs> oh, God, you're never going to be able to hear that. I end up trying to shove everything in and squash the door shut. This is why I'd never cope with a smaller van. Loads of cupboard space. No, we have, but that cupboard's always a bloody pain to put away. It's a pain if you haven't got that, patience. Yeah, that to the back. Jugs there. Kettles there. Simples. What else? What else do you need? Didn't get to watch my rugby last night. Well, hey, it took Stu reckoned about one and a half gigabyte to watch the first time. So that's blown my dream about watching all of rugby while I'm here. Um, it's a lovely park, up, really quiet, just people walking around, cycling, fishing, walking, just enjoying the area, which is always nice to see. We're just going to have a look at another park of actually it's only 10 minutes away from where we were last night but we may come back to it. We're going to have a quiet day. Uh, we were a bit frazzled by the end of yesterday. I was trying to talk my 93 year old mother through a FaceTime problem that she was having. She was trying to talk to her friend in Canada. Um, and I presume she found her because I could hear the FaceTime ringing and then she just disappeared off the phone and never came back. So, but you can do that. You're allowed to do that when you're 93. So this that's a park up possibly for tonight. That looks really nice. There's a motor home there at the moment. And a place called Peron, I think it is, or Peron in the Somme Valley and it's had its fair share of uh, disasters over the years. It'd been destroyed and it was burned and looted by the Vikings and uh, destroyed by the Germans in 1870, I think. And then it had the First World War and the Second World War, uh, like a lot of places around this area. Anyway, Peron. I think it's pronounced, <coughs> is twinned with Blackburn of all places. And it's one of the earliest examples of twinning. And it, it's, uh, I think it's the, f the first twinning town back in 1919. 
but the first official twinning was 1926. So I think it's the first unofficial one. And it was because a lot of men from Blackburn fought in the war, including the then mayor of Blackburn, uh, whose son, his son fought in it and unfortunately was killed. And in 1924, they built a little bridge. I think it's called Le Pont du Blackburn. Apparently in Blackburn, there's a road that's called a uh, Peyron Crescent. You always think that twinning of cities or towns was quite new, relatively new 70s or 80s, but actually it dates back to the 1920s. You got your bridge? I did. So what was that building? Hotel, I guess. We make our way through the back of the town to the castle. The castle museum really has two parts to the museum. And the first part outlines the early history, which we both really enjoyed. So in 1413 to 1422, Henry V of England and his army passed through Bron on their way to the Battle of Agincourt. It has an informative video that maps its historical events. The second part has lots of artefacts that Stu didn't like quite as much. It's a castle and a museum. Stu wasn't that keen on it. I must say they had a fe feature in the museum that I've never seen before. I'm not saying they're not out there, I've just never seen them before. To put it mildly, it scared the living daylights out of me. That's the nice way to put it. You scan a, uh, a barcode or a QR code and then suddenly, before you know it, the uniform comes to life and uh, it's really well done. I stand here before you to tell you about my last moments on the day I died. I'm in a trench near the Allied Junction line. I'm looking at the photo of my wife. I stand here before you to tell you about the last moments of the day I died. I'm in a trench. Time passes so slowly. What the hell is that? You weren't that keen on it, were you? I'm not great with just static objects, just artifacts. No, there was. There, there was, was a lot of static objects, and some of the displays didn't, the digital displays weren't working, which was a bit frustrating when you're trying to change language. And also the 30 minute film of the Somme, which I was looking forward to, it was only in French. So, yeah, that was yeah, a shame. It would have been all right if even, yeah, even if they'd have had subtitles, yeah, it would have been good. Yeah. After this, we head for a park for night spot at Clary sur Somme. It was on a park for night. Um, but it's got a big uh, description from what looks like to be the local authority council, whatever they're called here, saying that they welcome visitors to stay and park on this place. So that they've actually put it themselves, by the looks of it, on park for night. It looks like a bit of a nature reserve. There's some walks that Jane doesn't want to go on. No, we are uh, going. <laughs> but um, it's beautiful. It's not far from the last site. So the whole uh, valley here, the valley of the, S the Somme Canal, it's quite beautiful, isn't it? It's very yeah, picturesque, isn't yeah, it? it is, yeah, it is. Yeah, very relaxed, chilled, I'd say. Have a cup of tea, have some lunch. 
of yesterday's baguette. Yeah, we're a baguette behind. We're a baguette behind on day, so it's not as good as it is on the first we day. Need so to we, catch we haven't up. bought a baguette today, so we're going to go back into baguette world tomorrow. We need to eat a whole baguette today. That's okay. I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> but it's two o'clock, so it's almost tea time. Yeah. No, we're just going to have a chill day, we just relax day. Yeah. And I'll go for a walk. No, I'll come with you. No, I don't want you to as come with me. Not, you're going to be miserable. I'm like not going to be child coming. dragging your knuckles behind no, you. No, as long as it's is it a flat wall? Yes, it's okay. on the bloody canal. Okay. The canals <laughs> don't go up hill. <laughs> he says let's have lunch before it gets. It's almost gone past two o'clock, which I hate having a late lunch, but I've got to do it because I've got to go on my walk. Oh, God. Thankfully, divine intervention steps in and the walk is off. While Stu is optimistic, it's now much too muddy. And then just as quickly, we were just watching something. We had to turn it off because we couldn't hear it. Of course, what were we watching while we were in the sun? The Battle of the Sun. Oh, got a little bit of thunder as well, just to add to the... Ambiance. The ambiance, yeah. Despite the sun, the weather gods step in yet again and Stu succumbs to the inevitable. And then five minutes later, he's back. He's back. Tonight we were just going to have a feta salad but, um, with potatoes but I ended up seeing these little guys, cheese and leek. So we're just going to heat them up in the Ridge Monkey. We've decided we've got to eat less on this trip. <laughs> we're starting to both <laughs> balloon out. It doesn't look hard, does it? Start of the diet. No, it's tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Mm, nice. It's light. It's low fat pastry and cheese. <laughs> Should we just discuss our producing habits? Well, since we've come to France? Yes. Yeah, you need to stop snacking. That's what you need to do. <laughs> do I know? <laughs> I agree. It's got our hand. This is a Twix a day. Keeps Stuart happy. <laughs> a Twix a day? A baguette a day? Brie. Yeah, that's not that's not healthy. We need to have a Yeah. Well it's time for us to move on and we've decided to head back towards the coast and then along the coastline of Normandy, which is just a few hours away. That was quite a peaceful night last night. It sort of we had a it was a cooler night because of the, the torrential rain late afternoon, early evening. Yeah, we went to bed with the duvet on, well I did, for the first time on the trip, I think. We didn't use the fans last night either, no. so we didn't feel as though we needed the fans. So it was definitely cooler last night, so it cleared the air. I think the, the temperatures yeah, were creep back storm, up again, wasn't there? It's interesting, there's been a few places now where just the local community encourage you, as like I said, it was on par for night, as I said earlier. It's just an interesting way, all they've, got, all they've done is produce a car park and some facilities in as much as rubbish bins and uh, bottle bins, and that's all you need uh, but then you need respect there was probably about four or five vans here there's probably about three left we're just about to go now probably wouldn't stay here more than 24 hours they haven't got a limitation sign on in fairness to them i think you you probably wouldn't stay in the area no. more long anyway but it's just about uh, uh you know it, respecting the area so it's interesting how it's done over here and why couldn't this be done over in the UK? But it needs to be done not just in spot places. It means more, yeah. more, more, more than one, just the one isolated place. So we, we've been to Helmsley up in Yorkshire, and uh, that was a sort of a similar place. But then they got uh, it got cancelled. Basically, they stopped people doing it. I think it was a bit a abused. You know, they say twelve fans. There was more than twelve, and then there 14. were people who were yeah. dumping waste, but but you know perhaps they didn't have enough facilities there. But that's you know you're always going to get unfortunately you're always going to get people who are going to abuse situation, but they need to be dealt with. I'll be honest with you, they need to be dealt with, and they're the exceptions, not the rule. Most of the puddles have gone. Do you 
enjoy our videos? If so, please drop us a comment, hit that like and subscribe button as that really makes a difference and it's free for you to do. This makes me laugh when I recognise where we've been, not through the landscape, but by people's gardens and the roundabouts, the flowers and plants and grasses on the roundabouts. That's how I know we've been there before. Enter the roundabout and take the fourth exit onto 825. I thought it was going to be lost today. Did you? Right. <laughs> We've been around a few roundabouts. <laughs> Think this is in Amnya and we assume it's a water tower but let us know in the comments but it's pretty imposing on the skyline. Stu promises to stop and feed my newfound passion for coffee. We're 48 minutes from where the we're going to have the marina, so we'll have this quickly, then we'll get um, get some food. Yeah, more food. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, we need tea. We're gonna have... What would you like for tea? We said, what do we say? Um, we were going to have salad Halloumi. again. Halloumi. You, you could say désolé, je uh, suis anglais. Was that me? Sorry, I'm English. Try, try it. No, <laughs> <laughs> it's not a problem. <laughs> oh God, how good is that? We've had such a laugh with some of the with some French people, haven't we? What, try and get them to understand what we're saying? No, with Google Translate, like having a, a little conversation. No, I haven't. Oh, I have. <laughs> I've had quite a few. We've got a little biscuit, sugar. Oh my God, look at that glass. Oh, lovely. oh is the glass cold or is it just made to look like that? No, it's a frosty glass. Yeah, because that's... That's not frothed up milk, that's just milk and coffee. That's a flat white. That's okay. a flat white, that is. But listen to you, you've never had a coffee in your life. It's flat, it's white. <laughs> well... You yeah. need to blow in. Blow some bubbles <laughs> in it. <laughs> She's just had that scene in a moment where you go, did I lock the van? We're at Café de la Gare, yeah. and we're at Ali sur Somme, A-I-L-L-Y, Ali, Ali sur Somme. Today was the start of um, the healthy week. Hello, me cream cheese baguette brie. Your brie isn't healthy. You know that, don't you? I'll get a healthy one. I don't think there is such a thing. Oh, I won't eat as much. There's no, there's no such thing as low fat in France. <laughs> if they've got a few, I'll get them. I'm not buying a bag. I think that'll last us a few days then. There's some sausage in your batch. Oh, you're just doing that because you know that's my favourite bloody meal. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing that on purpose. If, the, if, if buying you Twixes shows how much I love you, I love you a lot because I bought you a bloody multi pack. Since we've stopped just recently. <laughs> no, because I keep eating them. around. Did you see how late that barrier went down? It's 
biggest bag of popcorn I have ever seen in my life. Just drained cheese. I think how it's going to work is that you just don't tell me when you eat those. They're yours, not mine. So just eat one, don't say, do you want a Twix? Okay. Does that make sense? Like, I got these two little... <laughs> I got these two little... Oh, yeah. They were only one pound, one, pa one euro 27. Because they didn't have any halloumi. Mm -hmm. I got... Um, the same as we had last night, but quiche Lorraine. I've got a baguette brie. I believe that is... It's No, it's got a... Ter it doesn't sound very... It's like drained cheese. I don't know what that tastes like, but we'll find out. A treat. Look, there's your treat. To show you I love you. <laughs> Little big bag of potatoes. I don't know how we're going to eat, but there you go and a lemon uh, oh red onions are expensive they were expensive in new zealand weren't they they seem to be expensive here as well and that's it that came to 27 euros 37. we soon continue the journey to saint valerie Susson. So join us in the next episode as we explore this historic town and find a forest park up for a change.